Hello everybody, welcome back to Geo Classes and we are starting this uh, online video lectures for decade previous paper with the solutions, possible solutions. Alright, Geo Classes is based in Dehradun and it's nearby Karanpur, DBS PG College. Our new batch has been already started. If you would like to join our new batch, so you can start up. These are our features which, should, which we take every day. So here we go with the question paper solutions. First question here we have, which planet is farthest from the sun? Option, there are four options. You have to choose one among these. Usually Neptune, but sometimes Jupiter. Usually Pluto, but sometimes Neptune. Usually Neptune, but sometimes Mars. Usually Jupiter, but sometimes Neptune. So as we know that Pluto is the farthest planet, but now Pluto is not considered in a, as a planet. It is a planet by 2006, uh, uh, six after, uh, afterwards not considered as a planet. So usually Pluto, but sometimes Neptune will be the correct answer for this. Which is the most abundant types of fossil in Precambrian? As we now run Precambrian, that is our Proterozoic era, there was, which type of fossils was there? Trilobites are multi-organism, multi-celled organism, so it was not there. Gastropods, again, same things, it was not there. Ammonoids, again, it's a multiple cells organism, so it was not there because in the Precambrian era, there was only stromatolite. Stromatolite are the algal structures. So stromatolite will be the correct answers. Next question here we have, porphyry deposits occur close to the convergent plate margins, destructive plate margins, triple junctions, or transform faults. Conservative plate margins are those that occur in the divergent plate boundaries where the ocean crust is formed, while destructive plate margins are those in which cross subduct and destruction of course takes place. Triple junctions, you all know that triple junctions are different types and transform faults are different types. So conservative plate margins will be the correct answer for this since it is uh, 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 porphyry deposits are associated with mid oceanic volcanic deposits. So conservative plate margins is the correct answer. Next question, so we have which of the following represent the correct sequence from the oldest to the youngest. Talchir, Damoda, Mahadev, Panchet. Option B, Talchir, Mahadev, Panchet, Damoda. So as we see the four options, they are from the lithostratigraphy or we can say stratigraphic succession of this is which group? Yeah, your time. This belongs to the Gondwana supergroups. They are the lithostratigraphy of Gondwana supergroups. And in Gondwana supergroup, we have a short tricks. How to remember the stratigraphic successions of the Gondwana? That is, Tadpa, Tadpa ke Mare Jau. Tadpa, Tadpa ke Mare Jau. Tadpa, Tadpa, Ta, Talchir, Da, Damoda, Pa, Panchet, Mare, Mahadeva, Re, Rani Ganj. So, which is the correct answer? You tell me. Oh, that's right. Option A is the correct. Next question here we have chromite deposits are usually associated with granite, carbonatite, nephilim cyanide, or pyrotite. As we know that chromite is always associated with the FEMG rich rocks, which has source of FEMG rich rocks, that is ultramafic rocks. So among these four, most appropriate answer should be the pyrotite, since it has olive in structures and as well as other different types of minerals. So it is associated with the peridotite. Next question here, we have in a monoclinic crystals, one principal vibration direction is parallel to B crystallographic axis, A crystallographic axis, C crystallographic axis, or any of the crystallographic axis. So this is very clear that it is always parallel to the B crystallographic axis. While A axis and B axis, they are uh, inclined to each other and uh, in monogranic crystal system, for more detail, you can just visit the notes of the Tulane University of so Biaxial Minerals, or you can see in the Parkinson. Or if you want more details in this, you can go to the FC, FG Flips books, that is of crystallography, principles of crystallography. All right? So B is the correct answer, that is, C is the correct answer, sorry, that is B crystallographic axis. A basalt undergoing low grade regional metamorphism will transform to which mineral assemblies? So, dear aspirant, 
we all know that when we say the mineral assemblage so low grade regional metamorphism as we all know that in the low grade metamorphism there will be chloride actinolite albite so do not confuse with the quad so right answer will be the d hope you're liking it next question here we have phenytization is associated with the intrusions of granite gabbro nephilim cyanide or tolerite First, let me clear you with the phenytization. So, what is phenytization? Phenytization is a process in which naphthalene cyanide get intruded with the country rocks. So, yes, the naphthalene cyanide will be the correct answer. That is C. Option C is the correct. The lowest layer of Earth's atmosphere is troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, exosphere. This is the correct order, exactly correct order of the atmospheric layer. So, lowest layer is the first one, that is troposphere. All right, let's go for the next question. The evidence is for the sea floor spreading. Option A is marine gravity anomaly. Option B is earthquakes. Option C is paleomagnetism. And option D is geothermal flow. So which will giving us the evidences of the sea floor spreading? Marine gravity anomaly. That is not associated with, they are not concerned with the sea floor spreading. It is not an evidence. It is obvious gravity and anomaly will be depending on the types of sediments and their gravities and the, their mass and other things. So correct answer for this will be paleomagnetism. Scintillation counter responds to the primary. First let me tell you scintillation counter. What is scintillation counter? Scintillation counter is a instrument which detects the ionized particles energy. So and this what we do is that gamma radiations has the highest energy particles beam so it is deducted more faster than other. So scintillation counter responds to more faster into gamma radiations. Next question so we have large deposit of marine magnets nodules are usually found in beach sandes, continental shelf, coral reefs or abyssal plains. As we know that the polymetallic nodules and magnetic nodule they are associated with deep marine conditions. They are found in that only. So beach sand is, this is shallow marine, continental shelf, all you are aware with the topography of the ocean floor. So of course it is also a shallow conditions. Coral reef, they are also found in shallow conditions. So a basal plane is the deepest plane. So this is the correct answer. Here we go to the next question. The remanent magnetism acquired by the slow settling sedimentary particles is often of type of isothermal, viscous, detrital or chemical. So my dear friends, if you will see the four options, so you can see the separate answers. You can see the answer distinct from these four. That is battery tell. I saw thermal, nothing to do with the remanent magnetism. You might be thinking of QD temperature, but my dear friends, it's sedimentary environment. You cannot uh, acquire that much of temperature. So you hope you are getting viscous is a force. Nothing to do with that. Chemical. What is chemical? What does they mean by the chemical? Maybe the chemical compositions. So this will be the answer will be the dead fitter. 90 degrees race is situated in Arabian Sea, Indonesian trees, or Indian Oceans or Bay of Bengal. Everybody know this this question has been repeated so many times. Bay of Bengal is the correct answer. Next question here we have relationship between the geometrical and gravitational flattering of Earth is given by Gaussian theorem, Green's theorem, Hafford's theorem, or Kralin's theorem. So we know that Gaussian theorem, theorem is, is states that it relationship between the hypothetical sphere of the Earth and gravity of the Earth. So it, it, it gives a relationship between that. So this is the correct answer. While Green's theorem give the uh, it is the integrations. It is related to the sum of the integrations of the two different paths. So it is not related to that uh, that. So option A is the correct answer. So here we go to the next questions. A reclined fold is one where the trends of the axis and the axial planes are not the same. So in the trends of axial and axial planes are not perpendicular to each other. But the first option is the appropriate that's to do with this. Nothing to worry about it. You'll just get it everywhere, even in the RG Park. You can follow for this. You can read N.W. Gokhale or you can go to the Ramsey classifications. That is a book first or second. All right. Moving on to the next question. Here we have fleece is essentially. Let me tell you first thing. One thing that what is fleece? Fleece is a sedimentary structures. Uh, it's not a structure, but yeah, 
environment in which what happens the sedimentary layers get deposited by the deformation within alternative things by these shales especially it is marked by the shale as we see the examples of in Himalaya we have Chakrata formation Chakrata formation shale of Chakrata formation they are kind of a flesh it is given uh, it is uh, given by the Valdia has said uh, Chakrata slate as a fleece formation a fleece is uh, the formation in which what happens subsidence occur subsidence occur due to the overloading or due to the uh, little uh, sea level changes or whatever it is so it is shale and it is marine of course so a is the correct answer hogback are the characteristics region of the vertical resistant formation inclined registration formation as we know that it is horizontal registration formation hogback structures next question here we have a structure oil traps in bombay high is this question has been repeated so many times and it has been asked so many times in the gate examination so c is the correct answer doubly plunging and decline so here we go we're finished up thank you very much for watching my video and if you want if you have not subscribed our channel please subscribe our channel and stay tuned and if you want to join our classroom program so our batch is already started you can come and do the classroom programs it's in the Haradun, nearby dbs pg college you can search geo classes over google you will get each and everything and details over the google thank you very much thank you so much for your patience good luck